Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be diving into messages that you need to hear right now that your spirit guides, your guardian angels, or the divine or your higher self want to deliver to you at this moment in time. And as I'm saying that, we have the hermit card. So these are things that they want you to reflect on, they want you to see, they want you to observe. As I'm saying that, I am really getting an awesome surge of excitement and positive energy, energy that feels very light, uplifting, and encouraging because I'm getting this strong sense that we are at the right place at the right time and Spirit is just confirming that. So shout out to Spirit for enlightening that for us right now. For those of you guys that don't know the Hermit card, I like to call this the card of unpacking. It's the moment in our life and in our journey where we're able to look at all of the journey and see how far we've come and what it means for us and decide for ourselves what we want to do moving forward. So these are the messages that Spirit wants you to receive right now as you're moving into the next stage and cycle in your life or guidance for whatever questions, problems, things that are on your heart right now. This is pile number one. This is pile number two. This is pile number three. Each of these Oracle card piles I have not seen, but I will be shuffling from the pre raphaelette as I'm working with you guys and seeing what message of spirit has for us. Okay, I'll see you guys at your timestamps. All right, my loves. So if you chose pile number one, give me a minute, because it's, Oh, okay. I just got a vision of a chubby little caterpillar. <laughs> He's so cute. He kind of reminds me of um, a bug's life. I think it was the German caterpillar that kept num num numming on everything and how optimistic he was. I'm hearing the word clarity. I'm hearing the word vision. I'm hearing the word positivity. I'm hearing the word optimism. I'm hearing colorful vibrant, have faith, hold the course. All of these messages I love. Ooh, okay, and we have a jumper. Okay, first things first. King of Wands. King of Wands, you guys, is a message from what I am receiving right now about, oh, I just heard, wow, you guys have a lot of um, verbal messages coming through, which I love. Breaking, breaking past the mundane. This is about strike. I'm hearing striking out, doing different. Uh, charis, chari, charisma, charisma is the word that I just heard. I heard pessimism, but I'm seeing pessimism getting pushed off to the side. Doubt, doubt is linked to pessimism. Pounce. I'm hearing the word pounce. Get ready to pounce. Be ready. Be confident. Self assured. What bold. Aggressive, okay. <laughs> I'm also seeing and feeling an eagle. So with this energy right here and with the, I wanna return back, Spirit is kinda of giving me permission to return back to the image of the caterpillar, this hungry caterpillar. I am really getting a sense with that. I've never seen that vision before but I'm getting a sense of massive transformation and while you're in the middle of that transformation, staying optimistic, jovial, lighthearted, and pos positive and, and, and looking for the future with expectant eyes, with hopeful eyes. Um, the word jubilant, jubilant, jubilant is, keeps coming through. It's that feeling of, you know, I'm hearing doing things your way, like doing things that makes you happy and not second guessing or questioning or checking in with others to see, is this okay that I do this? Just do it. If you know that this, what you're doing feels right, if you know that what you're doing is what you're called to do, if you feel called to do it, if you have an instinct, if you have a primal urge, these are all ways of spirit speaking to you and telling you, you are right on target, you are right on track. And even though the King of Wands is masculine energy, it doesn't, it doesn't really need to be masculine or a male or a man or a king. It is the aspects within yourself right now that are being called into life to, to lead you 
into your transformation, further into your transformation, which is what I'm getting. I'm feeling a lot of, I, I mean, with the caterpillar, it's kind of bringing me back to what you're eating, what you're consuming, what you're using in order to build energy. Making sure that it's natural energy, that it's natural resources, things that aren't stimulant, you know? There's, I don't know why, but there's a strong need to talk to you about getting, turn, tapping into natural sources of energy and not having to feel you know, look for superficial things and or artificial things in order to fuel you and your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit. I'm starting to talk faster because spirit is really trying to like is running through like so quickly right now. But I don't know why this is a specific message, but it just says that when you are living your authentic truth, when you are speaking your voice, when you are passionate, when you are um, in alignment with foods and people and things that are an actual vibrational match for you and a high vibra vibrational match for you, you don't need to look at anything else that, you know, to give you life, to give you vibrancy, to give you vibrancy. Did I say that twice? Okay, so vibrancy is just a really big word that keeps coming out for you guys right now. I'm seeing a cat and the cat is has that, you know when cats are about to jump and they kind of crouch down and their hips kind of sway a little bit because they're about to pounce. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like there's something that you see or there's something that you will see that spirit has it catching your eye. It has you catch, it has, you, it caught your eye and you're ready to jump on it. You're ready to pounce. Those are your natural instincts, right? I don't know if you guys have ever played with a cat before, but if you take a string when they're chilling and drag it in front of them, literally their eyes get big. Their pupils and their eyes get big. It's a natural primal instinct when they see that string drag in front of them. They're like, oh, it, I'm going to, Regardless of how much I was relaxing, regardless of what I was eating, I'm going to go and attack that. There's this really strong sense right now that it is that I'm getting that spirit, your angels, your guides, your higher self are saying that there's something that has caught your eye. It has tapped a, a, a space of truth within you and you are ready to pounce on it. You see it, you feel it, and you're ready to jump on it. This I, I'm hearing defies all odds. It defies the barriers. It defies the obstacles. It says that... Um, what is for you will not pass you. Number one, that's something that's coming through. Any obstacles you are wired to, I'm hearing transmute it. So any obstacles are being in a, in a position of transition right now. So any fear, any doubt, as the, any pessimism, go ahead and release that and let go. I'm going to shuffle a little bit more. Yeah, oh my goodness, Ace of Wands. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Ace of Wands is that spark, that fire, that drive, that ambition. And it is very primal. It comes from the root of our loins. Okay, here we go. King of Cups again. So this is emotional hunches. I'm really drawn to this boat that's moving in the background. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's already in the works. It's already happening. That's a really strong message that's already that's coming through right now. It's already in the works. It's already happening. It is here. It has arrived. Those are the words that I'm hearing. Strength. Wow. So do you see how much spirit is trying to empower you? I'm hearing weaving. There are so many things that are weaving. Wow. To help you to move forward. There are so many things this card wants to come out too. Wow. Five of wands. You've been at this for a minute. Okay. And queen of wands. Say less. Say less. Okay. I'm I'm feeling like there's so many and I'm done shuffling. I just feel like spirit's like, okay, that's enough. All right, say less. But there are so many things that spirit has already woven in to your existence, into the fabric fabric of your existence, into your wish, into your purpose, into your path that are going to make sense. They're gonna to start to make sense. It's interesting because behind the Queen of Wands is, I don't know if you guys can see this, but her throne, there's these little lines here, but it's giving me Eight of Wands vibes. Again, I feel like this is something that's in the works. It's in motion. It's on its way. It's already happening. Boom, it's here. This is very much like text message vibes, things moving quickly. Be prepared, but low-key, you have been prepared. You have been prepared. Okay, wow, higher power. Yang, do you see all this energy is talking to you about doing? This is about, I'm really hearing and feeling with these two cards. This is the message of divine intervention. When spirit speaks to you and says go, literally there is, that means that 
it is a you know green light so all roads open all doors open put yourself out there launch that whatever that thing is it's yang energy and there's a lot of masculine energy that came through my love so we have this is exactly what i'm saying that it's not just about being a female or being a woman or however you identify, it's about tapping into the masculine energy within yourself that says, I may have been waiting, I may have been receptive, I may have been nurturing myself or nourishing myself, but now the gates are swinging open and we are ready to go. And that's what spirit is telling you, that if you feel that, that, that hunch, if you feel that drive, if you feel that spark, it is time for you to do it. Okay. Things are not as they appear. See me in their eyes. Something about this, see me in their eyes, is bringing me to the message of the higher power. And also, I'm seeing this with the key here. There was a key in the middle of her forehead. And I'm seeing with the word see that this is actually through the third eye. Okay? This is why you don't want to look at it through your two physical eyes because things are not what they appear. They are not gonna logically make sense. Emotionally, it's not gonna feel um, like, it, it's. you're gonna be emotionally filled or emotionally fueled to take a step, but logically, it's not gonna make sense or you might have some fear in you. Um, but again, it's, it's like, okay, see things from the higher power. Move from the higher power. Move from this higher space. Move from this higher vibration. That's what I'm getting from this. Cleanse your energy. World energy. Magnify your intentions. Wise soul. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is purple. Purple, the color purple connects to the crown chakra. And this with magnify your intentions, that's where we receive our downloads through the crown chakra, and then we call that out into the universe, we speak that out to the universe based upon what our energy is feeling and what we are sensing. Also, with wise soul, these are things that your soul knows the answer to. Your soul knows and is automatically aligned and synchronized with divine timing. So again, this is some, not something that will logically or emotionally always make sense, but your soul knows the way. It literally says your soul carries ancient wisdom. Please embrace it. You have the knowledge to help those around you. And then we also have the world energy card here. As I'm talking, my throat is really starting to tickle. So I'm getting a strong sense of, I just heard the word help. There's a lot of you guys that are gonna be stepping out and asking for help, or you're gonna be providing help for others. So that's a very specific message, but that's why you need to magnify your intention because the more that you step up into this higher um, place, or I just heard the word platform, the more that you are being exposed, the more that you are sharing your message, the more that you're sharing your light, um, or calling out into the universe, you, your intentions need to be at a higher vibration because you are going to be attracting big, big things that are going to inspire not just your own faith once again, or the faith of your family, but the faith of the community is going to be a big um, world shift, a global shift, and with that you want to make sure that you are cleansing your energy because as you're putting light off and as you're giving off light and as, as you're moving, there are going to be some people who are going to be watching you, especially with the Five of Wands card here, you guys. There are going to be some people who are watching you, observing you, and they might have some hate in their heart. They may have some doubt. They may have some fear, some insecurities that you don't want to absorb that. Right, the same people who are fearful, doubtful, um, you know, resentful, or working against you, or work, or trying to work against you, they are the same ones that you are meant to make the biggest impact on. Believe it or not, but it's not your job to show up where they're at. And, and coach them through it. They have to do it themselves. But the way to do that is by cleansing your energy, moving forward. Don't share everything. If anything, if you're sharing anything with anyone, all of it, it's gonna be the divine or with your with your ancestors. I just heard soulmate for some reason. Um, some of you guys are gonna be talking energetically to your soulmate or you know, through the spirit realms, or you can actually sit and physically talk to your soulmate. Speaking of which, let's move on to the romance cards. Okay, wow. Unrequited love. That's exactly what I'm talking about with the five of wands. There are going to be some people, some things 
that the chemistry, the energy is off. It's not in alignment. That is okay. This is bringing me to the strength card right now. This does not mean that you have done anything wrong or that they have or that they're, they're you're better than them or they're less than or doesn't, none of that matters. It means that for right now, you need to cleanse your energy, shift your energy and magnify your intention because you are moving forward. You literally have this, it is safe for you to love, but I don't know if you guys can see the similarities between this woman and this woman, but they are onward and upward. They are moving forward. They are not looking towards the past, okay? They are, with the, with the energy of flirt here, and it says extend your lighthearted energy to others. This is about you, again, cleansing your energy. So when you cleanse your energy, when you free yourself of things, social media, um, the world, TV shows, anything else that draw, that drags your energy down, that bogs your energy down, you're going to start feeling light. You're going to start feeling inspired. You're going to start feeling playful. You're going to start feeling creative. You're going to feel inspired. You're going to feel like you're, you're literally flirting with the divine, that you're flirting with spirit. You feel so called and then it's all, all of it is good. Okay, look, okay, wow, perception and the mystery. So perception is exactly what is I was talking about earlier, that you don't wanna see with your third, with your two, with your two physical eyes, you wanna look with your third eye. That's the perception that you wanna look, look for right now. I don't know if you guys know this, but the, the high priestess is connected to the energy of the mystery. There are a lot of things that the high priestess, as powerful as she is and as close as she works with divine, there are a lot of things that she doesn't initially understand because, or a lot of things that she does not share. She does not share with the rest of the world or with her family or with her children or with her partner because it's for their highest and greatest good, world energy, cleanse your energy, magnify your intentions, and wise soul, it's for your, their highest and greatest good and your highest or, highest or greatest good not to. I teach this in the sacred circle where I tell my other high priestesses there that you know, as a high priestess, you need to stay humble first, that you are working with divine, you are working with spirit, and there is a very healthy level of respect and boundaries that need to be stated and respected regardless, okay? No matter how much pressure the world puts on you, no matter how much pressure you put on yourself, no matter how much you feel like it's gonna be good advice to give to your client or give to your family or whoever, all of the information, it's best that you share less. Believe me on that one, okay? Oh wow, oh my goodness, you guys, the high priestess. I cannot make this up. I literally cannot make this up. I mean, that's it, that's the reading. Okay, she says, I am one with my soul, and my soul is a legacy of love, and this brings me back to wise soul. Your soul carries ancient wisdom. Please embrace it as you, you, have the knowledge to help those around you. And I truly believe that. This is a pile that has, it's not even like encouragement so much, like that you needed it, because I feel like you have a really strong sense that you are being encouraged by spirit, but it's almost like a boost. It's like someone pushing you up by the high knee <laughs> so that you can go to the next level, so that you can rise to the next level in whatever this is within your life, whatever it is that you were thinking about, concentrating on, or feel called to listen to at this time. Wow. All right, my loves. So <laughs> that was quick, easy, and awesome. If you ask me, I'm like, my hands are like tingling right now. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But again, that's probably another message for you guys when it comes to en doing energy work, Reiki on yourself, Reiki on your plants, your animals, and the outside world. This is so awesome. Please let me know down in the comments how this resonates. Again, I say this in my Bahati Life podcast, that if the message resonates in a way that is emotional, it is definitely for you. So let me know down in the comments, um, you know, for my own confirmation, which I love to receive. I love to hear back from you guys how this makes sense, or just say yes, yes girl, you know, yes, all right? Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one. Moving on to pile number two. All right, my loves. So, oh goodness, this card jumped out. Oh goodness, <laughs> this card jumped out. <laughs> All right, so if you chose pile number two, this is your message, this is your word, and it's really coming through really strongly. The biggest word that I feel and I'm hearing is discernment. The card that jumped out for you is the Four of Cups. Now, this is not a card that is notoriously known for discernment, but if you think about the meaning of this card, 
and the history of this card, you'll understand, okay, how this actually kind of applies. As I'm looking at these women picking plants, picking flowers, I understand why discernment is what's coming through for you. I know that we're diving right into your message right now, but it is what it is. I'm here for it. So hopefully you're ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that you are. But I feel like these women, or I'm called to, rem to remember how these women are picking these flowers intentionally I as I'm hearing flowers I heard the word poison so there are some plants that are very very visually stunning and beautiful but no matter how beautiful they are they would be poisonous to the skin on the body in the mouth or in your energy like if you would breathe them in right these women are probably building wreaths for celebration for decoration or adornment and they have to use their discernment in order to make sure that the plants that they're picking are not things that are going to ultimately make them sick, poison them, hurt them, or be toxic in any way, shape, or form. That is why we have the Four of Cups here. Four of Cups, even though this is a card of boredom and contentment, or discontentment, this is actually a blessing from Spirit that says, you know, you are either A, being protected from things that do not need to be in your energy right now, and you may not necessarily accept it or like it or enjoy it, but it's there either way, regardless, it's there for your protection. It's there for your for your blessing. It's there for to guide you and to help you. And ultimately for your highest and greatest good at the end of the day. Or on the flip side, you are actively being called to have more discernment with exactly what you are bringing into your life, bringing into your home, or where you, where, what direction your life is taking right now. Not everything needs to be a yes, even if something is being offered to you. And ultimately, you have to be the one to decide, okay, they might be telling me yes, or this may be an offer that's on the table, or this may be someone who's approaching me, or this door may be opening for me, but is this does this feel good for me to walk through it? Is this what I should be doing? And again, it doesn't need to make sense on paper. It's something that you will intuitively know, feel, and sense is a resounding yes or no. If it's a maybe, you don't need to, look, look, look. If it's a maybe, you don't need to answer it right away. Um, in fact, it might be a, you know, I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I, I feel this big sense of I, I don't know, so right now I can't make any decision, and not making a decision is a decision, and that's okay too. So the cards that you pulled that jumped out, we have the star card here, which I love, right next to the hermit card, which is amazing. We have two of swords, which is exactly what it was that I was saying, the, the moon card and the ten of swords. So with the two of swords, this card really says, you know, it, it's like a stalemate. It's like um, a, a pause. But there's big, I don't know, energy around this. It feels like something is has ended. Obviously, with the Ten of Pentacle, Ten of Swords, something has ended. Something has been, I don't know why I'm hearing the word released. I'm almost getting like an egg has been released. And, or something has been let go of. Something has been put out. Because I feel like, through this ending, there's actually the potential for a new beginning. It's just waiting to be fertilized. It's waiting to be like implanted, if that makes any sense. Um, but it's all a matter of, you know, the, I don't know why, but I'm getting this strong sense of like cycles and timing. If everything is falls into alignment, then it happens. That's why this star card is, a, is showing up in my opinion, from how I feel it, because it's all about divine timing. It's all about the planet of, the movement of the planets, the astrology charts, the divine timing. If it is right, it when it embeds, it will grow. If it's not right, even if it does embed, it will not grow. And this has not has nothing to do, and again, here we go, and this is the seed, Ace of Pentacles. So this is really about, you know, I just feel like this space of waiting. I feel like this space of you know, maybe wanting to do more or wanting to do less, especially with Ten of Swords here, but being called to be patient. Oh my gosh, I was just about to say, <laughs> I was just about to say this. So in pile number one, 
Queen of Wands did show up, and I said to that pile, I've never seen this before, but she has a bunch of like decorations behind her, like ropes behind her on her throne, but it was giving me very Eight of Wands vibes, and then of course Eight of Wands shows up with the Nine of Pentacles. And basically what I'm seeing is that things are moving forward, and how, as I'm saying that too, oh my god, I also saw the moth for them, so maybe you guys need to listen to pile number one, but even though they have kind of conflicting messages here now that I'm thinking about it, but your, I'm hearing your journey is going to begin or things are going to start you know, moving really quickly sooner than you think, but while you're here, sit, reflect, observe. We have nine, we have nine here. 18 divided by two is nine. 10. What's one last night? Yeah, so, or one more. So, I don't know. That's that's just kind of what it is I'm getting, you, got, you guys. You know, things are moving forward. Um, but I just feel like a, a re, not almost say rerouting, but I'm almost getting like kind of crossroads energy here too, where you're at this point in your life where you don't, I just, I'm really getting a strong sense that this pile doesn't need to necessarily make a decision right now. Or your decision might can be a, a no, or your, might, your decision or your message might be a, you might have been going this way, but then when you start feeling, when you're walking down that path, you're like, wait a minute, let me reroute, let me look at this. And at the very bottom of your cards, we have Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords says, okay, you know, how you're moving doesn't match your intention, doesn't match your vibe, is it, is it what you feel called to do? And if not, find the exit. Or if not, find a way out. And discernment says that you don't need to say yes or take on everything. Again, it's for your highest and greatest good. Seven of Swords is not a negative card all the time. It doesn't need to be. If you're in my sacred circle, I, I teach that all the time. There's no such thing as a negative card or a bad card. They just show you what's up. I'm interested in seeing what your oracle cards are looking like. So what do we have here? All that glitters. <gasps> uh, okay. Knew it. Hold on. All that glitters. This means that everything that you see from surface value may not showcase its worth and its true value or what you are picking up on is literally telling you have discernment with the moon card here and the ten of ten of swords and the seven of swords and the ace of pentacles what is being presented to you or what you're holding or where you're being led not where you are being led by spirit but where the not almost the universe but it almost feels like people or this expectation for yourself or from other people is kind of ushering you along and push, come, 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 hurry on, hurry on. And it's just like, wait, pause. I understand that the whole world is doing this right now. I understand that the whole world is scared. I understand that the whole world is moving forward. I understand the whole world is paused. But outside of that, how do I feel right now? And this is where the Ten of Swords occurs. This is when the Ten of Swords happens because this is when you say, skirt, no, I cannot make a decision right now. I do not know the right answer right now. I do not know what's left or right. And I need time and I ask that you respect that. And that's where the Seven of Swords is coming through. Okay, what else do we have? Clean it up and be flexible. Okay, so I feel like with this flexible card, this is you talking to other people and saying, listen, can you just be flexible with me while I try and figure this out? And as I'm looking at this, we have 16 and we have 19, and with those two together, I'm getting like yin-yang energy. So this is about this evening out, this you know dark and light kind of working themselves out and people working with you and bending with you in order for you to help make sense of it all, in order for you to make this right. And I don't, I'm surprised the temperance card isn't here, but the, it doesn't need to be when we have the star card here showing that, listen, this pause right now for reflection is essential to you understanding and seeing and preserving, you know, your worth, your value, what's important to you and what you need to be doing in order to conserve, preserve, you know, thrive. That's where this clean it up energy is at. So if you're feeling 
ambitious and like like you're just churning your wheels and not really going anywhere the reality is is that this nine of pentacles is a great time for you to and this four of cups energy is a great time for you kind of to revisit refocus recenter and and work out how you're feeling goddess energy here we have the goddess of the internal flame i am in an eternal flame and each day my light grows brighter brighter with this i feel like what is for you will not burn out will not be taken from you or will not diminish in any glory and any sense of glory and any sense of light while you are telling them hold on wait some of you guys feel like and that's the thing when you start getting rushed with this eight of wands here when you start getting rushed and you're not able to see, look, think, and tap into your energy, your source, that's when you know that there's a problem. People who are people in energy that is really truly invested in you and is in the in it for the long haul, they will respect your your need, your time, your questions, and answer anything that is that you have and give you clarity and not something that looks good on paper or like is ideal like idealistic but not realistic or they make all of these promises but they don't follow through it has to it has to resonate it has to make sense if it doesn't then all of it is is literally fool's gold okay someone said to me recently um which i love she i'm working with her currently she said you know it's like putting lipstick on a pig it's like you can't. No matter how much you you could dress it up as all, as much as you want, but at the end of the day, a pig is a pig. No, nothing against pigs. I think pigs are adorable, but it's like don't try and dress things up, or don't look for people to dress things up, and just and just you know go with what they're saying and go with what they're where they're calling you to go. Actually, the fact that I even was drawn to this geode right now, this is exactly what I'm talking about. If you pick up this crystal, right? or this rock on the ground, and you're like, this is nothing more than a rock. And then someone says to you, I know this is a rock, but it has really a lot, a lot of value to it, right? And you crack, and then you trust them, you crack it open, and you get the geode, right? So there are some things that, again, what how it may seem initially is not the truth of what's inside. And that could be a good thing or a bad thing. It could be a problem or a solution. Do you know what I mean? The water fairy, feelings and emotions and burden. So spirit is really telling you to listen. And also with the water fairy, this lotus energy is about, there is some, some real muck here. There's something that you're growing out of. There's something that you're growing through. Growing through while you're going through it. And with the burden, I feel like spirit is kind of guiding you to not take on too much. Um... And for others not to put the burden on you, not something that's coming through, make the effort. This is exactly what I'm saying. The right people, the right things, the right circumstances will actually make the effort to put into you and not be frustrated with you or not make you feel bad for asking questions or they will continue to show up so that you have the chance, you have the time in order to decide what's right for you right now. New love, okay. Finances and, and career. So. I just feel like with this, there is newness coming through. I feel like if you pause and wait, there might be another opportunity that's coming through. This is why discernment is so important. So you don't wanna just get whisked away by the first thing that shows up or the second or the third. You kind of wanna explore your options and see what's out there, see what's up, see what's working out for you, especially with the cosmos, especially with the planets. Laughter, I love that. Your treasure is at hand and love is never in vain. So with your treasure is at hand, again, it's bringing me back to this. So if you look at what is being offered to you, you have the option to decide, okay, is this what I want? Does this feel like a match for me? Is this right, is this good? And I don't feel like you taking that time should be a punishment or should penalize you. In fact, it, you're gonna get rewarded for taking that time. You're gonna get rewarded for not rushing in, okay? And that's whatever, while you're in that four of cups stage, whatever you need to do in order to get it right, in order to make it right and make it solid so that it feels good for you and it's an effortless yes or an effortless no, that's what you need to do. 
Okay, and with the card laughter here, uplift uplift yourself and those around you through loving laughter. I just I just honestly I feel like <laughs> that's exactly what what this card is about and what this message is. It's about literally coming back into a space of laughing and bursting, like bursting out with joy, bursting out with, you know, love and laughter and those type of things. And you'll know. You'll know. Okay? I hope this message makes sense, my loves. If you are emotionally stirred by this, please let me know down in the comments because that means this message is truly, truly resonating. Also, I invite you to share this reading with your friends, your family, the people that is that you love and care about, or on your social media. I really appreciate it when you guys do that. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right, my loves. If you chose pile number three, this is your, this is your message. It's so interesting because I'm hearing the word pending, <laughs> pending, loading. I heard recalibrate. I heard recalibrate and the lesson, the lesson and the recalibration. I just heard the word tools. Okay. Learning. Learning. Throughout history. Oh man, I love when spirit speaks so clearly. Throughout history, you guys, human beings are, are meant to figure out. They're meant to have trial and error. I know that's like, duh, Jess, but like literally, it's like an epiphany. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. You are, you're meant to, re while you're recalibrating, while you're reloading, I don't feel like this pile is always about being so hard on themselves, but throughout history, you, you, there are certain sacrifices, meaning like time, energy, money that's lost, or things that challenges, hoops, hurdles that you have to cross, and hoops that you have to jump through, and you just learn through hitting your ankle. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm seeing like circus when you have the, the lions or the tigers are set to jump through old, old time, back, back in the day. But again, even this is a message all by itself, like on top of that. Spirit is so awesome how clearly it speaks to me. But back in the day, back in the day, emphasis on that, there were lions and tigers that would jump through these hoops of fire, and if they didn't lift their legs up, this is an awful metaphor, but it's what Spirit is giving me, if they didn't lift their legs up all the way, they would get hit, or they would get burned, or singed. So they learned over time to lift their legs, right? People learned to put them in the circus. People learned to, to profit off of them, off of their pain, their suffering, and their their gifts, you know, their natural talents, because they could make money off of them, because they could travel around the world, because they were like celebrities. And then over time, that had evolved into, wait a minute, animal welfare, this is not fair for them, this is not okay, people are getting hurt, but more than that, the animals are suffering in silence. And it's, it's just not fair. But the, the reason why I'm saying that is because there's so many levels of learning. There's so many different levels of evolving. There's so many different levels of, of, of observing that throughout, it's like history goes, like time passes on and you learn, okay, not just in this one area of your life, but this area, this area, this area, this is why we don't do this anymore. Or this is why we do it this way now, moving forward. And all of this is from the King, um, the uh, Knight of Wands card. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love that. For those of you guys that need to know, wow. For those of you guys that need to know the meaning of the Knight of Wands because you're uncomfortable with stepping outside of just, you know, outside of the traditional meanings of the cards. Um, into very intuitive messages. Knight of Wands is this adolescent energy, for the most part, that is exciting, excited, excitable, adventurous, and going out to pursue the pursuit. You know, whatever whatever that thing is that's going that they're going to be celebrating, that they're going to be loving, that they're going to be um, bringing back to the community, and you know, saying like, look at what we did, look at what we're doing, right? Four of Wands is the card of this is our tribe, this is our family, this is our community, this is something that we are solidifying or have solidified for ourselves. And the chariot is our ability to move forward with grace, with purpose, with clarity, okay, with passion. And that's 
That's what I'm seeing here, you guys. This could be tied to home. This could be tied to marriage. This could be tied to, oh, look at that, with the Three of Cups too, big time with marriage, abundance, blessings, um, finding your people, finding your community, finding your other half, your soulmate, your home, and setting, setting roots. But the journey to get there has not been the easiest. It was not meant to be the easiest. You're meant to learn a lot in a small amount of time. I'm hearing that regardless of the outcome of whatever it is that you are going through right now and facing, regardless of the destination, the biggest lesson, and I'm sorry, the biggest blessing, that in itself is a message, the biggest blessing is the lesson. It's going to be you really stepping further into your power. Some of you guys, emotionally, I feel this. For some of you guys, you felt very emotionally weak you felt like you weren't capable. You felt like you didn't have the capacity, the potential, or that everyone else was adulting better than you or doing better than you or securing things faster than you and just living their best life. But the reality is, is that we're all out here trying to figure it out. Spirit saw the fact that you were emotionally really kind of struggling with this. And they're hyper-focusing. Oh my goodness. They're hyper -fo There's so many messages coming through you guys. Um, they're hyper -fo focusing on emotions because this pile, no matter what your sun, no matter what your moon, no matter what your rising is, something about this pile, they pull their power from their intuitive emotions, from their feelings. And if you are feeling sad, depressed, anxious, disrupted, or ill, like your peace is, is, it, it has illness, then it literally bleeds into and embeds everything else. With the judgment card, you actually had to go through the lessons, the trials, the tribulations, the hoops, you know, the hurdles, so that you could gain awareness, awakening, and revelations to help move you past these subconscious, hidden things that you were either embarrassed about, suppressing, not wanting to see, not wanting to accept, and they make themselves known. And that, again, is the blessing. The blessing is the lesson. Now, this is showing up. Wow, you guys. You guys are moving forward. Knight of Pentacles. So we have two pentacles here. Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. When you know better, you do better. When you know better, you do better. When you know better, you do better. Spirit saying that. When you know better, you do that better. When you know better, you do. You know, and then King of King of Pentacles. This is for your own um, solidity. This is for your own stability. This is not about bravado. This is not about, you know, how much money you have in the bank or how much, how little money you have in the bank. It's about experience. It's about experience. Your experience is going to be the reward. Wow. I am a thousand percent here for this message. That's good. The spirit is really calling you to acknowledge. Let's talk about the, um, the chariot card, there's more here. In fact, I want to put all of these guys away. Um, but yeah, Spirit is really calling you to talk to this pile about the lesson. The lesson is really the is the reward. That's really the medal. That's really the code of, I don't know why I'm saying code of honor, but wow. Yes, my loves, powerful. With the chariot card, we have the Page of Cups. We have the Queen of, of Pentacles. We have the Empress, but she's reversed. So again, this is bringing me back to, you know, I just feel this really strong sense that it's more than the fluff. It's more than the decoration. It's more than the story. How you can tell the story, be, even though there's some reward in that, but it's about you. It's about what you have learned. It's what you have grown, how you are looking at things differently or doing things differently because you have observed, okay, this was off or this was wrong. And when some of you guys were really afraid or didn't have the resources to ask for help, or some of you guys were afraid to be vulnerable. Some of you guys were afraid to accept. Some of you guys were afraid to be seen. And in all of this, you have learned that, okay, me actually showing up is one of the best things I could do. And moving forward, I'm never not going to show up. Moving forward, this is how I'm going to move. Moving forward, this is what I'm going to do. Moving forward, I'm going to do it this way. And it's as, and as you move forward, spirit says, yes, he, she gets it now, okay? There's no judgment, there's no shame, there's no harshness, there's no punishment. In fact, you avoid all of those things and you moved past all of those things because finally, finally at this, at this point, you've learned 
The lesson is the blessing. The lesson is the blessing. The lesson is the blessing. <laughs> wow, I love this. Okay. I know that we said a lot, but let's go ahead and I just feel like Spirit says there's something more. Six, six of Swords, yeah. Yeah, the worst is behind you. The worst is behind you. You have everything you need. You have everything you need. You are solid. You are stable emotionally. And and it's like I'm never going to, I'm hearing, I'm never going to make that, that same mistake again. And Spirit says, it, it, you know, you have, you have this sense right now that says, you know, yeah, it was a mistake, but I didn't know any better and I tried and I fixed it. I fixed it. Yeah. I, you were, you didn't know the hermit card is the card of, you know, digesting and unpacking and, and understanding, but you can't do that if you don't know, if you don't even know what to look for, if you don't know who to ask, if you don't know that there's something else out there, you just don't know. I love that. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords. All right. Well, I need to see what you guys' oracle cards are. I mean, go ahead and throw a heart down in the comments. This message is really, really powerful. All right. First, first thing we have here. Tick-tock. Unfinished sympathy. Symphony. I always say that wrong. This is so interesting. Um, with Tick-tock, I feel like this big message of you have time. Um, I'm also hearing... Uh, justice for something about that makes me feel like okay you can fix I don't know why I'm hearing record recording I don't know why oh, okay well that makes sense with um, sym symphony but I'm hearing recording there's certain things maybe that's a specific message for some people but there's certain things that you have captured there's certain things that you're gonna apply that you're gonna make them work now they're gonna they're gonna show up now I don't know what that specific message is because that doesn't make any sense to me, but that's for someone. TikTok says, now and moving forward, you know, it's like you have time, but also, oh my goodness, Kali Ma, the mother of the universe, I release all that doesn't serve me. It's time to be the truth of who I am. It's time. It's time. Unfinished sympathy. I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> Maybe that's a message to you for someone. Unfinished symphony. This is a blessing. It didn't have to end where it ended. It carried on, it continued. In fact, there's so many different ways that you can remix things. <laughs> and Kali Ma knows that. She is compassionate, she is kind, she is considerate, and she is protective of you, protective of us, protective of me. And she says anything that she crushed anything that angered her anything that she destroyed or that she released you from and freed you from at this time it was in order to make in order to teach you and make you into the mo most kindest compassionate level-headed i don't know why that's coming through level-headed um self but also to complete this cycle so that when you know better again you do better that's what she wants for you oh my goodness the frog Cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage. Something about this is giving me the idea of shame. Things that we are shameful of, things that we are afraid or scared to ask for or to tell people I don't know or I don't I don't have the answer. This is giving me, taking me to pile number two. So for those of you guys that listen to all of the piles, that makes sense. But there's some type of thing like suppression, something that you're afraid to talk about or, you know, didn't want to share because of you know the punishment of it or what's going to happen and this is helping you to clear it out so that you can move without shame fear you are afraid that's where Kali Ma is so protective this is like someone who's afraid of singing out or calling out or speaking out because they have fear it's like going on stage and being called to sing when you have the most beautiful voice and you just don't do it because what will people say? What will people think? And, oh, you're supposed to be an accountant but when you really want to be a singer and it's like, is that realistic? You know, those kind of thoughts. Fear. The swan. Oh, my goodness. I love this reading so much. Okay. Transformation. Trusting the psychic gifts. So this is where you evolve. This is where you transform. This is where you transition into the beautiful being that you are. The lesson is the blessing. The lesson is the blessing. The lesson is the blessing. Very soon, romantic feelings. I love that. 
I get so much pink from this. I'm really getting a lot of pink vibes, a lot of gentleness, a lot of kindness, a lot of compassion. I'm seeing like, like, I see the fruit, but I see the flower. And this shows me that you guys are just so sweet. Like you guys are so sweet, you're so soft. And I just, I'm hearing this word of you're gonna, you are, you're gonna do it your way. You're, you're meant to do it your way. And your way is gonna be so different. Like it's gonna be so different. It can, it can be really like unexpected. And that's, oh, peer pressure. Oh, let go of anxiety. You are healed. This is the pink flower, I feel like. It was a little lighter than this, but it's very similar to this. It says, don't let others coerce you into a decision. You know in your heart what the right choice is. Let go of anxiety. This is where I really want you guys to know and feel and, and see that you are held so strongly in the divine's hands, and you don't need to have fear over anything. You really don't. Not with Kali Ma, like, coming, crashing in when she needs to. Um, she's also so misunderstood, you guys, because people look at her and they have fear because she was so angry, but she was angry and upset and caught in a moment of realness, protecting and defending that which she loves and values the most. And I just feel that for you. I feel like not only is spirit working on your behalf in the same way, but I see that you're being called to do that. And the thing is about Kali Ma is that now that I'm thinking about it, her lesson too, she learned and transformed into the swan through her anger, through her hurt, through her ache, through her suffering, through her pain. That's when she was angry and raging, she did it because she was, she felt violated. She wanted to protect, or she saw a violation occurring or happening, something that she did not agree with, that she did not love, that she did not like. And in that, she realized that if she was to continue to rage, she would crush everything and everyone. Or in the very thing that is that she loves and protects and, and was working to protect the most. But in that moment, she surrendered. In that moment of, of honesty and observance of herself and non-judgment, she transformed, she transitioned. And that's what I'm seeing for you guys. It's not as if you need anyone and create space for new love. So there are certain things that really, you know, you are being called to, to let go of. Cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage, past circumstances that were really painful to you and really, you know, impacted you in a, in a, a massive way that doesn't need to be explained to anyone. You know how it made you feel. You know how it impacted you. You know how you needed to be protected. You know how you needed to be held and, and supported and defended. And it didn't happen. It didn't occur or it didn't work out or you did everything from a, a space of survival mode. And you don't need to explain that to anyone, but when you know better, you do better. And tick, tick, I'm getting tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Now is the time. Now is the time to start over, to start fresh, and to, and to let go of any anxiety and blockages and barriers that are holding you back because I feel like it is right, right here, right now. Create space for new love. Say less, I'm there. I love you guys. <laughs> I hope this message makes sense and resonated because I felt it was so beautiful and so powerful. Please let me know down below in the comments how this message resonated with you or just if it did or didn't. Um, in the meantime, I want to invite you to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.